How you doing? I'm your man, John Wilson. Today, we're going to learn how to multiply using scientific notation. This is something that may seem difficult. I'm going to show you just how easy it is. So we have a classic multiplication using scientific notation problem here. 2 times 10 to the 6 times 3 times 10 to the 3rd. When you're going to multiply using scientific notation, there's a couple steps involved. The very first step is to multiply. But what do we multiply? We're going to go and we're going to multiply something called the factors. The factors in scientific notation are the numbers to the left of the multiplication sign. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to multiply 2 times 3. That's right. It's going to give me 6. 2 times 3 is 6, so the first part's done. Now, the next thing is to deal with our exponents. We look here, we have a base of 10, a base of 10 an exponent of 6, and an exponent of 3. When we multiply like bases, which is what 10 and 10 are, we add the exponents. So what happens is we have 10 to the 6 times 10 to the 3rd. That's going to give me, when I add the exponents together, 10, 6 plus 3, which gives me 10 to the 9th. So I multiplied my factor I added the exponents for my base. Now all I have to do is write my answer in correct scientific notation. So I start with the factor. Six. I put in my multiplication sign. I put in my power of 10 and my new exponent, which is nine. And I've officially multiplied using scientific notation. Make sure that your answer is in correct scientific notation, just like this one is. We're going to try one more problem before I let you go. So here we got 3 times 10 to the 5th, 5 times 10, we got a negative exponent now, negative 2. So what we're going to do is same process to start. We multiply the factors. 3 times 5 gives me 15, good. All right, so 3 times 5, that gives me 15. I've multiplied my factor. The next step. We take our bases, and we're going to, because they are like bases, add our exponents together. That's going to give me 10, 5 plus negative 2, which becomes 10 to the third. So I'll start by writing my answer, 15 times 10 to the third, but there's a small problem here. To be in correct scientific notation, your factor has to be greater than 1, but less than 10. So to do that, I'm going to have to drop a decimal here. I will move the decimal one spot to the left. That's going to give me a good factor now of 1.5. But there's something else that has to happen. Whenever my factor gets smaller, my exponent has to get larger. I move this decimal one time, so I'm going to have to add 1 to the exponent here, and my final answer will be 1.5 times 10 to the fourth power. And that's it. That's all you got to do. You've now multiplied using scientific notation. I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like the video, leave a good comment, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time here on Math 6789 Plus. That's another reason math matters.